Ah, yeah. All right. What's going on, beautifuls? Oh, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful punishment squad. I'm kidding. No, I'm not going to. I'd never start a broadcast like that. I would I would hate myself. That sounds terrible. And not, No, I don't want to do two times RP Tiny Races. Son of a bitch. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Sorry we're starting a little late. You know, about 11 minutes late. But, yeah, well, you know. Sometimes things get in the way. And tonight it was the wife. Wife and I wanted to have some time. Because she decided she didn't want to try and, excuse me, play a game tonight. No surprise. <laughs> but it's whatever. So it's just me. Congratulations, you've been awarded four hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Cool. Got the fucking hiccups. Ugh. Ouch. You know, sometimes holding the breath hurts. Not something you expect to hurt, it just does. So I gotta get out of this uh, adversary mode. I accidentally hit the right bumper when I was trying to load up the game. <laughs> we don't want to do that. I'm not interested. Because I ain't got no crewmates. Crewmates, teammates. GTA me. I don't. I don't even know what to call my friends in GT. Well, oh, that's a beautiful name. We activated a ghost organization. Fucking terrible. My car is over here. I got some running to do. So I haven't played GTA in a little while for you guys. I played it a little bit offline about a week and a half ago. I haven't made any major purchases. I haven't done anything extreme or gotten anything new. I'm just cruising around doing the same old GTA stuff because I don't know how to go forward in the game. Although, I do have a cargo warehouse now. I don't know if you guys were there for that. Open the gate. That works. You can open that gate. Whee! 161 feet. Not bad, bud. Not bad at all. Of course. It looks like my car is up top. So we'll have to go upstairs and find it that way. Fun, fun. I wonder what vehicle I was in last. Ah, I'm a penetrator. I'm XJ220. Good car. Oh, well, mine's really dirty. <laughs> oh, shit. It's been a while since I played some GTA. Gotta get used to the driving again. Let's see here. Fuck, I'm missing my hood now. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's laggy. Alright, one of the biggest tricks about doing a bailout is you gotta make sure you got enough straight a little bit of downhill to go with it so that way your character instead of sliding or you can just completely lag out and freeze up the game Whoa, there we go, we're good I do not remember you, my friend. I apologize, but I'm, I'm glad you came back. Although it looks like you followed me before, or your account isn't verified with Twitch because your follow got ignored by the system. Of course, I'll still have a notification in my, me my email saying you hit the follow button, so thank you for hitting that follow button. It means a lot to me. It's a great way to start the night, too. I'm a little late on the broadcast, and the very first thing that happens besides me, you know, losing my car is getting a follow. Well, that's pretty fucking neat. I haven't played Gears. I haven't played Gears in a long while, man. It just, you know, I love the Gears games. I really do. But I don't like the multiplayer all that much. So, it... creates a problem. And on top of that, I've already gone through the stories before. What I was thinking about doing... I was going to go through all the Gears games again in the future. I did recently pick up 4. I'm excited to play it. I just don't know when I'm going to play it because the rest of the viewers haven't voted for it yet. Because if you recall, I like going through the story mode. Good spot to bail, right next to my garage. No, too much traffic. We'd hit one of the cars. Damn. Oh well. Whee. I don't... I'm not saying I won't play Gears again, but it is a possibility. That it may not come back around for a while. I want to. Because I want to continue the Gears saga. I want to know what happened. So I'm really excited about that, but... You know. Huh. <laughs> but what I do talk is um, since the channel grew a little bit probably since the last time you've been here I now do voting systems to where you guys determine what I play next right now I'm in the process of playing Sniper Elite 4 because that's what everybody voted for <laughs> for the solo series which we play Mondays and Tuesdays Wednesdays we play the crew for the Wild Run expansion. Thursdays we play a game called Carmageddon Max Damage. And Fridays we play Forza Horizon 3. Obviously the weekends are still open for voting. You guys come in Thursday, Friday. I record your votes so we know what we're going to be doing. But when I finish a new single player mode, I ask everybody to go through the list, see what's there, and then we move on to the next game that wins the votes. I don't know about the Sniper Ghost Warrior games, but I do know the Sniper Elite games. I've played every single one. The one that I didn't really play extensively, though, was Sniper Elite 3. 
But that's because I think I played it on the wrong console. I had it on my 360. It was depressing. I ain't got anybody to team up with. <laughs> what I should probably do is go check on my uh, warehouse. I have a cargo warehouse. I don't have a whole lot in it. But there's some. I haven't got a message from my associate saying, hey man, this shit's been stolen. <laughs> beat the first two what? Sniper Elite Ghost, or Sniper Ghost Warrior or Sniper Elite? Well, the reason why it's again is because if you don't play with me and I don't recognize your name, you're gonna disappear. You should know that. <laughs> <sighs> That's all I have. A single fucking crate from fucking Merriweather. God, I'm a terrible businessman. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's hard to move anything when you don't have co-workers. Huh. Moobot's just a computer program, but it won't respond to you. Not a whole lot of people in here, but that's enough to make me uncomfortable, especially with that. That's that's news to me. Alright, let's get the fuck to the office here and see if we can make a deal. You enjoy that. Maybe you can watch the broadcast and play Gears at the same time. Good on you. Although I really like it when you guys focus solely on the stream because that makes it easier for me to interact with you. But, you know, you don't have to. Venmo is trash. I don't know what the fuck Venmo is.
<laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, yeah, we're good. This car has never failed me before. I wish I didn't have this tower, but I was tired of waiting, and it didn't feel like building up any more money. So popular, everybody fucking uses it. Looks like your pockets are full. All right, lady. When you Thank you. What you've got, I'll give you some more. I just wanted to fill my pockets. That way, I had them in a pinch. Although it's weird that my assistant has snacks. I don't pay you to sit there and watch my food. I pay you to sit there and watch my stuff. see here okay oops Ah, we'll do the one crate because it's just me. Okay, we're on. Go and collect. Hey, everybody disconnected from the session? What? Good luck, boss. Nah. Only a few people disconnect from the session. Just give me the word and I'll make it happen. I need a ride, my dear. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? How do you choose between your children? Your personal vehicle is being brought up now. I got a bunch of vehicles to choose from. I don't really choose. I just kind of go with one that piques my fancy at the moment or serves my purpose. I love all my cars. Just some have more purpose than others, sadly. <laughs> so let's see how well this thing does. I've sent the collection point to your GPS. Make the pickup and bring the goods to the warehouse. Should be straightforward. I don't know who, but apparently somebody picked up a beta power from a chafing. I don't have any chafing right now, but I appreciate the sentiment. So this thing is a blast. This is the Duke of Death. Ugh. It's right up my alley. It's a muscle car. Mad maxed out. Got headlights, ram bars. All about being violent and being sturdy. This thing could take a hell of a beating. Uh oh. Always come prepared. I'm gonna tie that for now, see what's what. Hmm. We have a van to deliver. Maybe not. Hmm. That's what I thought. All right. Let's see what we can find here. I do not like the TrackFi app, but you gotta do what you gotta do. That poor lady. I didn't even mean to hit her.
Oops. One exclamation point, but at the front. That's all I need. I didn't think that one through. Too busy looking at the little fucking app to see that it was a bridge. So it's on the freeway. And there she is. That's our target. That's it. No, it's not. Target's still moving. What the shit? Well, that sucks. Figured, you know, a suspiciously slow moving van. It's that one. You're mine, cone boy. Ah, it didn't work. He bounced off the guardrail. Alright, now we have a problem. We're not in the Dukes of Death anymore. We're unguarded. We have work to do. Let's do it fast. I said let's do it fast, Van, not spin your fucking tires. So far, so good. No one's shown any interest, but that's liable to change at any given second. As soon as that radar pings it, I might have to run. Hmm. But we're actually rather isolated, so that's a good sign. If you look at the map, I'm pretty much unbothered, unless you go a couple miles back. By the time anyone would get to me, I'd probably already be at my warehouse. I say probably. Very lightly. Whee! I usually prefer doing this with friends. I'd much rather have a team of friends that I can trust. <laughs> but hey, went off without a hitch. It's a good start. All right. I don't want to sell until I have allies. So that question is, what's next? Do we get a car? We get another crate? What seems like a good plan? Well, whenever that time comes around, bud, if you're still around and I'm still around, then yeah, without a doubt. We can get you in here. Put a herring in it? the fuck? It says put a herring in it. A herring's a type of fish. That's weird. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm gonna head back to the to the office. Oh, and before I forget, I don't have a crew. I don't associate with anybody. I don't make myself anything other than just myself. Canvas 35, like to run business. So you'll just work for me whenever I run a run something. Well, I have to wait and see. But I always, always look forward to more. What the hell? The car was going the wrong way. Woo! That was fun. <laughs> ah, balls. Thing doesn't turn too well sometimes. It's fast, hard to brake, but it's a muscle car, so it doesn't like to turn. I think the absolute biggest downside of this car though, look at that front window. That is the only thing you can shoot out of. That's all you can do, you turn it to the right or to the left a little bit, nah, you can't shoot at all. It's not good. So the only defense you have is what the car can provide, and if somebody's right in front of you. And if you're being chased by a person who knows what the fuck they're doing, the person's not going to let you get behind them, or in front of them. I can see myself getting involved in a situation where I'd probably spend most of the time driving backwards. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm throwing it into trees and stuff. This thing takes a while to beat up. So if you haven't gotten yourself one, you, you probably should. Well, that's funny. Cops are going to hunt somebody down. All right. Good to see you, boss. Hey, assistant. How much do I pay you? <laughs> source a car while we wait I don't want to recruit any randoms in the lobby because you know I don't trust anybody forgive me for being skeptical well, I will say this y'all are welcome to join me it is an open lobby which means anybody can join but if you do join me you know let me know that you're joining so I don't end up getting pissed off at you, doing something stupid. Mm. Standard range! Oh my god! This game fucking hates me when it comes to sourcing cars. Remember, I'll do anything as long as it's legal. Ish. Hi there. How can I help you? Uh. As soon as you've decided, I'll get nah. the purchases rep to prepare the vehicle. Quite a collection you've got here. 
Nah. Hello. We'll just go down there and use the dukes. It's already there. Exit to the ground, game. <laughs> it's having an attitude. Mm. My arm's bleeding. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to change my clothes. I need to get them my spring and summer clothes. I haven't done that yet, because right now I'm still running around in leather and fucking cargo pants in this game. I'd be dead. So, this car's being used in a stunt on a movie set. Head over there and take the car. But look out, you probably won't be able to get out unless you complete the stunt yourselves. Where is it at? So after we source this car, we'll go to the store and uh, change to our summer clothes. Because it's that time of year. Although I did end up wearing pants today instead of shorts, which I was kind of surprised about. Me and my wife had some errands to run. Ooh, that person's dead. Somebody's chasing me. Cool. Whee! All right then. This guy's got a hard on for me. That's all right. He can have a hard on for me. Woo! <laughs> I fucked that up. Just trying to reverse into that alleyway here. Not that it's gonna do me much good. But we can try and take this guy out. Let's see where he's going. Baba Yaga. That's the, uh. He was attacking all the other CEOs in the lobby. So maybe that's his goal. Okay. Guess not. Well, I bet you as soon as I start moving again, he's gonna disappear or come back. So first things first, we should probably get this thing repaired before we go on the salt to get our vehicle. So let's head down here real quick. Do a quick quick snap up, whatever you want to call it. Snap together. This thing can take a hell of a beating, but a couple of explosions will hurt just about anything in this game. Los Santos Custom is unavailable. All right, never mind. Looks like we're not repairing the car. Ain't that a bummer. No big deal. We'll probably die transporting the car, at least. I'm not worried about it. It's a standard range. I get too many standard ranges. It makes me mad. again or was that a frame rate that was a frame rate issue okay GTA has always had an attitude when it comes to its uh, stability <laughs> some of the people with the strongest internet connections or would have issues Where the hell are we going for this stunt? Punish points! Ah, oh, sweet. Alright, hold on. Check, click on that link, bud. There's a little link that pops up when the Revlobot command is run. In there, there is a bunch of little stuff that you guys can play around with. You earn punish points by watching the channel. It is something that was added due to the real GTC fucking around doing some GT things and trying to get the chat more interactive and make you guys feel more rewarded. Uh. The punish points are a worthless currency. 
if you use them in anything else other than Revelo. <laughs> but they can make me do things, answer questions, give you guys some fun stuff to play with. You're late, gunman. <laughs> we should probably get it now. What ha You know, I really don't want to hear your reasoning, but because you always have a reason. And that's fine and dandy. Like every fucking time you had something to deal with. Or, oh, I was doing this. Or, oh, I was doing that. Buddy, I'm, I'm quite tired of hearing about it. Just say, yeah, I know I'm late. But I don't want to know what happened. Unless your life was in danger, then I'd be a little more concerned. <laughs> I hate to be that way, man. I really do. But every time you're late. You give me some kind of explanation that doesn't make a difference to me. You know? What the fuck you doing, rancher? Woo! Ah, that hurt. Well, sorry, bud. Nothing you can do. Should have thought about that, I guess. I didn't, I didn't even consider the problem. Oh, shit! Shit. I'll have to call Lester here. I guess that's why they tell you to do that mission secretly and quietly instead of running a full on heavy automatic machine gun. But you know, it's just my style. Canvas don't do sneaky unless he absolutely has to. You know, my dad, it's all in your head. Alright, Tok, no worries. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you came back. And like I said, in the future, once we finish a solo game, if you stick around and you make We're votes for it, and everybody else votes for it, then the bam, we got ourselves a new game. Serve at the office. So keep that in mind, okay? Don't be a stranger. Alright, so what do we got here? One, two, three... Four or five. We all got a bunch of shit cars. I mean, they're not shit, but they're not worth much. Let's see how. Top range, mid range, mid range, mid range, mid range. And a standard range. I ain't got shit, man. Oh, 
problem being, I don't have any collection cards either from the looks of it. No, oh, no, I got one. Molten Metal. Ronnie Bonelli. Mm. Centorno, Massacro, Reaper, and an Alpha. Pastel Perfection. Hmm. Well, bummer. As usual, I ain't got shit to sell. But that's okay. So what we're going to do now, after we leave the warehouse, is we're going to retire and we're going to go change my clothes. Because I don't know what else to do. Since I don't have any of my friends or typical crewmates or whatnot to hang out with, I'm at a loss. Which is normal when we play GTA. I never know what to do. Now that we're not a CEO, I don't have to worry about staying alive. If I die, I die. Alright, beautiful. We got work to do. This thing is awesome. Downside is, it ain't got much. All right, let's check the map here, see where our nearest clothing store is. Right there. Why don't read chat when you're taking off, Canvas? You know better. What do you want, assistant? All right. That car is registered on your Securo Serve account. Cool. Come by the office if you want to source another one. Nah, I'm good. She is a good assistant, but she can be demanding sometimes. I really hate when she starts asking, no, we should expand the garage. later boss we should expand the garage I don't want to expand the garage <laughs> oh that person's dead that person's dead just gonna pretend that never happened, yeah? Well, that person's probably dead too, so... <laughs> I'm gonna hold new meaning to the name Wastelander. <laughs> Poor people. I only feel slightly bad. Oh, that one's dead. You hate your job, don't you, lady? So what do we got here? We have new outfit, new outfit heist. Regular biker. For the little bit of role-playing we did. Norway, private, inve uh, Noir, private investigator. Duffel bag. Rally racer. And cat biker. Where's my kitty cat? We're supposed to be a kitty cat on my shark. So what we need to do is make a new outfit of clothes that I've already bought. So we'll go down to
our own tanks. We did that. Don't need to browse tops, we need to browse pants. And there was a pair of cargo shorts. So it's probably just some regular shorts. Yeah, that's what I thought. These guys, those are what I wear during most of the summer and spring. Cargo shorts. <laughs> that's what my work boots look like right now. surgical gloves. That's funny. We don't need no gloves. I don't wear a watch. Hi, Pan. Where's my kitty cat? Hi, baby. Those are ugly as shit. Can, honey. What are you doing? So we'll do bronze because that's what my necklace looks like right now. I have a steel bead shot necklace. It's plated in silver, but it's it used to be really faded. So I got rid of that. Will you get cat? Damn it! I love you, but you can't do that. Crazy cat. All right. a new outfit. How do I make a new outfit? <laughs> I thought it involved talking to this bitch. Was I wrong? Well, shit. Whatever. Boss, it's me. Look. I don't care. I don't want the garage expansion. There it is.
All right. We're all set to play in the summer. That's pretty cool. Somebody made a race about that. All right, can I say welcome back this time and not expect you to disappear again, gunman? <laughs> I didn't say it the first time you said you were back because I had a feeling we were going to disappear. Why don't you just take me with you sometimes? How's that? and can't turn for shit when it's going at speed. And that's quick. <laughs> Spelled it wrong, but it's funny. 